YouTube, Salivate Metal here, and I am here at the Baltimore Coin Show, looking at different displays and the like, and I like to seek out the unusual, and today we're going to interview a guy who is the king, I believe, as of his own micro-nation. His name is Alan Berman. Hello, Mr. Berman. How are you? I am quite well and uh, really delighted to be here. Great. We're glad you're here, sir. And uh, I believe I ran into you uh, a time or two at the previous Baltimore Coin Shows, and you have an interesting story and have designed your own currency for your own micronation, which is called... Burmania. Burmania. And you can look it up... Burmania, it is in the Balkans between Romania and Bulgaria, but you cannot find it on any map because the Romanian Society of Secret Cartographers erases it. Ah, and for those who... May be in Rio Linda or some other area who may not know, cartography is the art of map making. And uh, so, Alan, here, tell us how your nation started and how you came to uh, design your own coins for this nation. Well, if you ask Alan Berman, he'll tell you it was an inside joke in junior high school that just grew and grew with time. If you ask King Alanis, uh, he'll tell you that the Romanians wandered out of Brooklyn in the 700s AD, uh, crossed the Bering Straits on foot, uh, actually, not really on foot. They were in the first version of the Spruce Goose, uh, which Howard Hughes really designed for us. Ah, I see. And there, I knew, it, we, I knew there was more to that than what Leonardo DiCaprio told us. Don't believe him. Uh, and then wandered into Eastern Europe eventually. Okay, great, great. Well, it's too bad the Spruce Goose wasn't finished before the war ended, but nonetheless, you well, know. he did a good job. He did a good job, very well so. So tell us about these coins. Uh, well, I love being surrounded by history, uh, and I try to buy whatever is fun, and fortunately other people tend to agree uh, with my uh, tastes, and, and they just congregate around these parts of the past. Great. And uh, you had your own coin design, and it's called the... Well, we Romania has had many coins designed. Uh, the Royal Romanian Tickle Token uh, is actually technically a token and not a coin, and it was used... May I just uh, grab one of these? It was used in the 1660s to gain admission to the Royal Tickling Ceremony, uh, at which the king would cure gumness. Ah, okay. And you see, unlike the English similar tokens, uh, where the angel is spearing the demon, uh, on the Bermania tokens, he is holding a giant feather instead of a spear, and he is tickling the demon. Right, I see that. Wow, fascinating piece. It's placebo. And it's a placebo effect there. It is a story about the placebo effect. The king was named King Placibus, and you can see ar around the uh, galleon there, uh, it has the royal titles of the King of Romania in the 1660s. Fascinating. Very great. Amazing history behind that piece. Well, Alan, I want to thank you very much for uh, sharing your story. And uh, it was a pleasure to see you, sir, here at this uh, fine event. It's nice to have royalty at the Baltimore Coin Show. Now, it's important to note that in Romania we do not charge taxes. And that is why I actually must work as a coin dealer. Ah, I see, okay. The king will not live off the backs of the people. Uh, we function on the principle of noblesse oblige. Well, that's a wonderful principle, too. I wish the other nations would follow your example, sir. Thank you very much. A multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.